All right, action. How did it fall like that? So in this video, we're gonna talk about our food source on the boat, and the main source of our nutrition and our food is gonna be through sprouts. Why we went with sprouts is they are highly nutritious. They're easy to store on a boat. They are also loaded with uh, essential amino acids, vitamins, enzymes, minerals, uh, and sugars that the body needs. Another thing that's cool about them, they only take seven to 10 days from when you plant them until you're ready to harvest them. The first step in sprouting is to soak your seeds. You're gonna soak your seeds for eight hours. Uh, you're gonna divide them up into cups, one, uh, one tablespoon per cup. Right now we're doing currently five tablespoons, which produces roughly a pound of sprouts. Um, after your seeds have soaked for eight hours, then it's time, time to start the planting process. We use two inch by six inch baking trays. Um, and then we use a seaweed extract for the fertilizer. Which all that basically is, is sea kelp mixed with water. We, we intend to make that ourselves while we're out there. So we intend to harvest the seaweed, dry it in our solar oven, and then grind it down to a powder, and then dilute it so we have our own source of plant food for free. We did a little experimenting with the soil. We use store-bought soil and California desert dirt and we compared the two and they came out the same. The reason why we experimented with it was in order to see if, when we're out at sea, if we can actually use regular soil we find or if we need to lug around, you know, 20 pounds of soil everywhere we go. And then after you've strained and cleaned your seeds, then you're gonna place them um, on top of the soil evenly as possible. You're gonna soak newspaper about five layers thick and about the size of your tin can, about three inches by six inches. And you are going to, um, after they've soaked, you're gonna place that evenly over the seeds and that's gonna keep the soil hydrated through the four day process. Okay, so after you have covered the seeds with the newspaper or cloth, then they need to go into a dark place for four days in order to germinate. So put them in a dark cabinet or anywhere that doesn't have a lot of light, preferably rather warm and dry. After four days, the sprouts will be about an inch long. You're gonna move them into the sunlight where you're gonna water daily. And once the sprouts have reached a certain height and color, then it's ready to harvest. So we're gonna be bringing uh, broccoli sprouts, alfalfa, wheatgrass, soybean, peanut, mung bean, adzuki, green pea, lentil, radish, and uh, a lot more. So we're gonna have a lot of diversity and a lot of variety to keep us from getting bored of eating the same piece of grass over and over again. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next video coming up, we're going to be showing you our process for turning seawater into drinkable water. And how we're gonna be bartering out. <laughs> and show you how well Jared has become at barbering. So, see you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoyed it.